A stunning first day of racing for the Trofeo Princesa Sofia Mapfre, with big breeze and big waves really testing the teams. Although the day started with cloud, the skies later cleared and the breeze picked up to 25 knots, demanding attention to detail during preparations and checks on shore. As the expression goes, race days like today separate the men from the boys, and the top sailors were dominating at the front of the fleets, demonstrating outstanding boat handling in the challenging conditions. All fleets completed their scheduled race program, except for the NACRA 17, the 49ers, and the 2.4 meters Paralympic class. Racing was postponed for the 49ers after all but one boat capsized in race two for the yellow group, whilst the NACRA 17 fleet were grounded ashore unable to race in the steep waves. In the Charlie racing area, first to go were the yellow group of lasers where the two British helms, Ben Cornish and Jack Weatherall, launched themselves off the start line ahead of the pack at the pin end, with New Zealand's Sam Meach a few metres to windward. Meach fought his way upwind through the waves and rounded the wind mark first with Germany's Philip Bull a few metres behind and chased hard by Matthew Wern from Australia in third. The fleet steamed into a fast reach and onto the downwind leg, which demanded intense concentration to surf through the waves and swell. Meach held onto his lead with Wern in second place and closing in, and now ahead of Bull as they headed upwind for the second time. But the race was a long way from over for the world ranked number two Bull, and as the fleet headed through the downwind gate for the second time, he had taken control of the race and was now leading, with Meach on his tail surfing the huge waves. Their positions held as they crossed the finish line, and Bull claimed his first victory of the series. Last to go in the starting sequences were the women's laser radial Blue Fleet, where the French Mathel de Ducaranga had a great start on Wimwood and soon secured a lead over the rest of the pack, but not for long. World ranked number five Helm Alison Young, drawing on immense experience from her 2012 Olympic campaign, outsailed de Ducaranga downwind and had moved into the lead by the first downwind gate with Di Karenga knocked back into second place, and Poland's Anna Weinzer here in third. Onto their second race of the day in the Echo Course area were the RSX men's fleet, racing in fairly extreme and challenging conditions with the sailors struggling to keep their boards down. The big star of the day was Germany's Tony Wehelm, who scored two bullets in style, leaving the fleet far behind. France's Julien Bonton, the 2012 RSX world champion, ended the day second on the overall leaderboard, and Brazil's Ricardo Santos in third. Local sailor Ivan Pastor claimed two top 10 finishes and ended his day in sixth overall. It was a really nice day. I mean, uh, obviously we had the great conditions, uh, sunshine, 22, I would say 27 knots, big waves. It's uh, what we are dreaming about. Uh, it was just gorgeous and uh, myself, I had a really good day uh, with two bullets, two first places. Uh, I mean, you can't, st you can't really start better into a competition. In the 470 women, the relatively new partnership of Olympians Lara Vadlo and Yolanta Olga from Austria are on a mission to Rio 2016. Their time spent training in Palma ahead of the event rewarded them with a ninth overall on the leaderboard. In the 470 men blue fleet, Austria's Matthias Schmidt and Florian Rietstader won both races for a flawless day of racing. Their performance was matched in the yellow fleet by 2012 Olympic gold medalist Matt Belher and his new crew, Will Ryan. It was a day requiring intense focus and also physically demanding. With racing finished, teams were keen to recharge their batteries ahead of race day two at ISAF Sailing World Cup Parma. The wind is expected to drop a bit for tomorrow's second day of qualification racing, but there'll be enough of a breeze to keep racing pretty exciting. So do not miss it.